Hello, <laughs> I've just been editing this video and realised I never actually filmed an intro. <laughs> just launch straight into it. So to give you a bit of context, this follows on from the last video, not the last DIY EV chat, the last one of me fixing the motor mount. Next steps in this set of upgrades is to remount the heater uh, and then to move on to uh, building or rather upgrading uh, the existing battery box so that I can fit uh, six modules in taking me to 96S, more voltage, more uh, amp hours, um, yeah just generally an upgrade. Anyway, starts with me trying to fix the, uh, or rather refit the heater. I've got no idea what happened here but something went very wrong with this video. <laughs> the audio was slow and everything was just completely out of sync. So anyway, here I am pointing to a piece of tape that I've used to mark out the mounting holes on the heater. Here I am pointing to the charger saying that if I put it there, um, it may well interfere with the bonnet, but maybe there's space, maybe there isn't. Anyway. Heater's in. Very solid. And actually I think I like that arrangement a bit more. Plenty of space for an elbow to come off the bottom pipe um, and up um, we can just route them sort of round each other we have to go under the uh, cage there might be a few angles before we get in here which isn't ideal but it'll be fine um, yeah maybe we go round and outside don't know we'll see when the uh, inverters on just know I had to uh, rotate the um, plug otherwise it would have just gone straight into there uh, and you wouldn't be able to get a plug in. I might be able to now given how far off it is but it'd just be easier if it's pointing out that way. On to the next bit which is the cage inverter and charger although it is as usual pissing it down. Just popped everything in just to give me a sense of space. There are advantages and disadvantages to moving the charger up here. Um, advantages, it hides a lot of mess um, and it's the only other place it can go without completely redoing the layout. Uh, disadvantages, it's bad for serviceability and basically it's going to limit access to all the brake booster bits. Um, I'm also going to have to relocate both fillers for the heater cooling loop and the cooling loop, or the other heater loop and the cooling loop. That's possibly no bad thing. You can see actually there's a nice space here. It would be nice to just have a couple of um, fillers there. I can make something up. I don't know what I'd connect it to, but uh, Maybe I can find something. Um, or it could go somewhere completely different. But yeah, it's kind of the only place it can go, annoyingly. Unless I can come up with some clever new layout for the battery box. New plan. And it is so fiendishly simple, I can't believe I didn't think of it before. <laughs> um, underneath here, I don't think I can lift it off with one hand, but you can see two modules are stacked on top of each other rather than on their sides. If I just increase the size of the battery box by I don't know, 40 mil, something like that, get some 40 mil box and just put some extensions on. Mm -hmm either extend this just stitch weld some extensions on the bottom um, or do something even simpler possibly um, I can fit it all in and the bonnet closes my charger can stay where it is keep serviceability all neat and tidy and a damn sight easier I have to reroute cooling, heating, anything. I might want to do those things, but you know, I don't need to. 
well, I'd need to be the coolant, obviously, because I've moved the heater, or we're heating on, I could move the heater, but most stuff stays basically the same. This is all rather pleasing. It's Good Friday. I've been working all morning, that's the joy of being self-employed. While the weather was really nice, it was sunny and bright and dry. The moment I put on my overalls, it starts pouring with rain. So yeah, Tel Aviv. Um, mission today, if I can dodge enough raindrops, is to give myself an extra couple of inches. Filming this without stepping out under the cover of the uh, bonnet is tricky. But as we saw, we can fit six modules in here without any major changes to the battery box. But if we just lift this lid up, kind of six centimetres is what it's going to need. Basically a couple for the battery modules. Um, and then enough space for a bit more than a couple for the battery modules. And then a bit more to allow the cables to run out through the hole into the high voltage junction box. If we lift this up six centimetres, it might just about um, contact the bonnet. So we need to drop it down slightly. So you just drop it down enough that everything fits in here. Um, or either raise these sides up so everything fits in and move the uh, and cover up this hole. Um, but, or drop things down a bit um, so it just doesn't come up as high. I think what I'm actually going to do is a bit of both. My plan is, is to take this sheet metal down here, cut these bars off here, reattach the sheet metal slightly lower down to 20 centimeters lower down, weld the bars in. Uh, slightly higher up and then that gives me well that gives me 20 centimeters um we need to find another 40. sounds like the rain's coming to an end sun's coming out batteries are back in the gazebo i've taken everything else out so this is the bit i don't want to modify if i can avoid it i don't want to modify the lid Maybe add an extra lip to the bottom, um, although I don't have a huge amount of steel. I've brought my old battery box back, the one that I made out of a washing machine. That has got some sheet steel on it that I could cut off and use, but it's not quite big enough. Um, I've also brought a lot of scraps back there. This is my scraps box. I don't know how useful any of that is going to be. I brought my plumbing box back as well because I'm probably going to need to redo the well, I'm going to need to redo the plumbing for the heater. Uh, and then we've got other steel that we can use. We've got this two and a half by two and a half by one mil um, that I just picked up off the street. I don't think that's actually going to be any use unless I severely cut it down, which I could actually could cut it into angle and then trim it down to 20 by 20 or 20 by 25. That could be useful. I've got this 20 by 20 that I've just picked up from the storage unit, which is the same stuff that I made the frame of the uh, battery box in. Yes, Paul, I know you're watching and I know you're thinking you could make that so much lighter, <laughs> but it works for me. Um, so yeah, just got to do some thinking really about what the most efficient way to get myself that extra couple of inches is. And while I'm at it, I'd quite like to um, feather the back side um, of the battery box, at least on the far side where the piping for the power steering goes, because um, it's all a little bit tight at the moment. If I could create some extra space there, then that would be really good. Quick update, some very untidy welding. Some not so bad. Um, some pretty untidy fabrication. Well, <laughs> some really bad, hello. <laughs> Um, basically, I've cut the floor out of the battery box and I've dropped it down underneath the support frame rather than on top of, so that already gives me 20 mil. That's the first part. Um, exactly what I'm going to do after that, I haven't entirely worked out. But since that was the... Cheers! <laughs> Regular neighbourly interruptions when you're out front. Um, so yeah, I've gained myself 20 millimetres already with this one simple trick. And uh, yeah, exactly what I'll do after that, I don't know, but a lot more welding to do. I'm, gonna weld, I'm actually gonna 
attack all the way around here. I'm just going to keep filling in attacks because that is super solid now, which means I don't have to put any bracing in underneath, I don't think, um, in order to bolt the, um, the batteries through. Um, it's not the thickest material in the world, but because the bars are now going to stop it sliding as well, it's not going to go anywhere uh, in case of an accident. Um, I might put some extra bracing in, we shall see, but it feels really solid now. Rain has stopped play yet again. It is absolutely throwing it down and it came on so quickly, everything got wet. All my tools are wet, I'm soaking wet, workpiece, freshly welded workpiece is soaking wet. Pain in the ass. British weather. It's raining again. Um, it's probably about a week since I last shot anything. Uh, real work came around uh, and Easter and all that chocolatey stuff and birthday too um, battery box is done it's time for reassembly I say done you'll see what I mean and this is a bodge a temporary bodge uh, I didn't put too much effort into it because I've decided I'm going to rebuild it. I've got myself booked on a welding course. I'm going to go and learn to weld properly. Maybe even get a certificate. And when I do, I'm going to make this properly out of um, folded steel. Um, much neater, lighter, stronger, less porous. <laughs> Fewer rib nuts probably. Um, but this is pretty tough. It's really strong. Um, it'll do for now. I mean, you know how long temporary lasts. It might be a while. So it'll do for now. Uh, it's in. Um, I've got a lot of hooking back up to do. I need to redo the power steering pump pipes. I need to obviously redo the wiring. I need to redo the um, pipes for the heater. Um, and then obviously just put everything back together. Unfortunately, I can't really do that while it's pouring with rain. I don't want to get under the car. Um, I left my mat out stupidly, so that is now a big puddle down there. Um, I don't really want to get under there and drain the uh, power steering fluid while it's absolutely throwing it down. Uh, and the only times it's due to be dry today are when I'm on the school run. A uh, school run. Um, it's kids' classes run. Might as well be school. So let's keep the electrics dry, shall we? Uh, and come back out here and snatch some time when it's a little bit drier. The uh, updated or fixed um, power steering piping's in. Um, nice and neat, all fixed. Could do with some better uh, hose clamps, but that seems to be a perennial problem. Um, I've redone the heater water loop. I haven't put any cable ties or hose clumps on it yet I do like the cable ties I have to say they seem to work absolutely perfectly and I know people will say it's not the right way to do it but it works um, I've put some of the plumbing back for the cooling loop as well so I think the next thing really to do is to put the battery box in and then go around finishing up all the plumbing and all the wiring Battery pack in and semi-wired. As you can see, I've left a couple of disconnected. Try and avoid having it all wired up until you're ready to close it up. Um, need to tidy things up, obviously. Stop everything flapping around. Lock all the battery modules down. But yeah, pretty much have a battery pack. Bolted everything down, as you can see. Um, so it's not going anywhere pleased really I'd like to be further ahead for well a couple of hours work but it's pretty close I'll try and get the uh, battery pack sealed up for tonight before I go inside and then tomorrow with a bit of luck I can put the last bits together fill it with fluids and uh, get it down off jack stands and take it for a spin there we go Getting a bit of a sense of what it's going to look like. Obviously repainted the top of the uh, battery box as well. We'll be able to manage to scuff it <laughs> while putting it all together. That can be touched up in situ though. Um, just used um, stone guard paint. 
another couple of coats we probably wouldn't have gone amiss but it looks like it's all going to hang together everything fits it the box shuts without crushing anything and that's without the cables properly rooted so that's cool um i think the bonnet will shut <laughs> but for now it's time to get inside because it is about to absolutely throw it down my northern spider sense tells me All coming back together nicely. This is more tell than show because, as before, I'm a bit time starved. Um, only one slight problem. I, um, you know, when you put things together in the wrong order and you don't realise till it's too late. I don't know if you can make out, make out that hose down there. It's the coolant hose that comes off the uh, off the radiator here. Oh, up there somewhere. It comes down there runs out the back and goes into the motor yeah can i get the uh, hose connection together i've tried it from underneath i've tried it from the top and uh yeah <laughs> it's not going together and i'm not taking everything out and actually i can't because you can't put that hose on until the radiator's in i suppose i could have actually hooked that bit up and then taken off the radiator end. For some reason I took both ends off. I don't really know why. I should have put all this together with that connected and then just popped it onto the radiator, which is much easier. Anyway, I shall keep wrestling. There we go, all together. Um, haven't tested whether the BMS is talking to the new modules yet. That will come later, but Everything turns on, spins up. Oh, mustn't forget my tether tape. Um, everything comes on and spins up. It's all looking fairly neat and tidy. I would like to redo this with a laser level at some point. I did do my best to level it all up and it's not quite straight, is it? But you know, it's fine. Um, one minor, meh, minor -ish issue. The um, coolant pump is hitting the um, battery box and resonating against it. So I'm gonna have to take it apart. Sorry, the coolant pump, not the main coolant pump, the coolant pump for the uh, heater. Uh, heater pump, let's call it, <laughs> um, is hitting the battery box. I've probably got a bit of room for manoeuvre. Yeah, I can take a centimetre out of that pipe and this pipe and then shuffle it all back slightly and remount it. Um, and actually might put a screw through there, maybe 3D print something I can bond to the uh, engine mount, at least on the motor mount below, and hold that in place, and then it won't resonate anymore. But that's a job for another day. Everything else, just a couple more cable ties to go in to keep everything tidy. But everything else is looking pretty good. And yeah, the wheel spin. <laughs> that's the main thing, the wheel spin. It all works. So that's a good place to leave it. Um, episode that's taken me about two weeks to film all in if not more maybe either way it's all done now i can drive it again can i charge it well we'll find out on the next episode if you like this stuff please do like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one bye bye